going on, Jerome's. So it is really amazing that the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, after that 0-3, 1-4 to start, are firmly in the playoff places and basically control their own destiny, both for the wild card uh, as well as potentially chasing that NFC Norris division crown. And, again, I understand playoffs. Don't talk about playoffs. They're trying to win a game. Fully, fully understand that. One game at a time, and as long as you win, 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 no matter what, everything else will take care of itself. But... You know, the Vikings reeled off five wins in a row uh, without Justin Jefferson, maybe getting J.J. back. Uh, two wins in a row without uh, Kirkwood, Jerome, Zico Cousins. That one still hurts. Uh, and the Vikings have won six out of seven. So, I mean, it, it, it's perfectly fine looking ahead. Uh, and the Vikings... The Vikings are a very dangerous football team, man. For all the reasons that we talked about, Dobbs is on point. Uh, this offense is uh, becoming elite. This defense is really getting after it. So, it's okay to dream a little bit. That's right. And as of right... Meow. Uh, here's how the NFC uh, playoff picture is shaping up. Uh, the Vikings at six and four want some more are rising as well. Uh, six and two in conference is really important for potential tiebreakers. Uh, currently in the one seed is the Eagles, who the Vikings should have beat. Mm. The Lions, who the Vikings are going to beat twice. The Niners, who the Vikings did beat. The Saints, who the Vikings also beat. All, all, all that stuff. So if the playoffs started today, uh, the Vikings uh, would be the seventh seed on the road at Detroit. Bring it. Bring it. And, you know, Lions fans, I, I I love that Detroit is having their moment in the sun because Lions fans have suffered for, for a long time, but they don't want none of the smoke, man. They, they don't. I feel like they understand that their team is punching above their weight and the Vikings, baby, ready to burn Utica to the ground. Uh, the Cowboys would be at the Niners. Uh, how'd that work out last time? Uh, then also the, the Seahawks would be at the Saints. Uh, ooh, it's uh, Beast Mode 2.0. Except different location and not not alike at all. But uh, the, the Eagles would be the one seed. And the AFC, the Chiefs would be the one seed. Uh, Texans at the Ravens. That would be a good game, man. Uh, the Browns at the Jaguars. Uh, kind of like the Browns in that, even though I'll be starting a quarterback uh, for Cleveland by then. Or hell, maybe Stefanski. Although Stefanski played safety at Penn, I want to say. Hmm. And then the Steelers would be at the Dolphins. Uh, but uh, overall, the Vikings... I mean, the Vikings can certainly help themselves. We'll get into the percentages here in a second. But overall, the NFC is, don't want to say it's over because obviously it's only week 11. So everything is far from over. But I mean, other than who's going to win the NFC South, it's basically kind of wrapped up. Uh, so the top six teams, the Eagles, the Lions, the Niners, the Cowboys, the, the Vikings, and the Seahawks, if you could do like a like a six-way parlay saying that all, all six of those teams are going to make the playoffs, I think you could make a pretty penny. Uh, the only thing up in the air is the Saints uh, and the Bucks. Maybe the Falcons get back into the Derby in the NFC South, but the, really that's it. Because, I mean, other, other than that, the other uh, only other teams are really competing for wild card spots besides uh, that one-off uh, NFC South team is the Packers, no. The Commies, no. The Rams, certainly not. So basically, it's kind of a wrap in the NFC. And then uh, via ESPN Analytics, looking at the percent chances of where the Vikings can end up in playoff seating. 20% chance at the 7 spot. Ain't going to hold up. 33% uh, uh, shot at 6. 11% as the top wild card at 5. Uh, no no chance to be 4 because uh, the, the NFC South Champione is going to be that. Uh, but then the 11% to be the 3 seed, uh, meaning beep, pop up, up, boop. The Vikings win the NFC Norris division, uh, as well as 8% to be the 2 seed. So basically they're saying the Vikings have about a 19% chance to win the division one time in 4. I think it's a little bit higher than that. Uh, because I, I think the Lions certainly understand uh, that the you know the Vikings objects in your mirror are closer than they appear. I think that there's just going to be a little bit of a pucker factor uh, going on with the Lions, man. Uh, but over at the upshot uh, at the New York Times, the Vikings currently have an 89% chance to make the playoffs, uh, and they got a fun little simulator here. So if and when the Vikings go into Denver, burn you to cut to the ground and punch stupid uh, Sean Payton right in the face and also make Russell Wilson look old again, that number jumps up to 92%. Now, it's not as large of a jump as you would think because in the grand scheme of things, uh, out-of-conference games don't really matter as well as road out-of-conference games. I mean, every game counts. But in a 17-game season, the road out-of-conference games uh, are sort of the most whatever. And the Vikings have two of those left uh, with the Broncos and then the Raiders. But uh, if and when the Vikings uh, beat the, the Bears on Monday Night Football, and apparently it's, st it's staying put, that number jumps up to pretty robusto, 97%. And uh, then coming off the bye, if the Vikings rack up and stack up another win, uh, again, 
out of conference uh, out of conference road games uh, relatively meaningless. But then the Bengals, uh, and then of course he beat the Lions over ninety nine percent. Oh, Hundo, we made it. Looks like we made it. But you know, like we said, all, all these numbers are Lulu at at the time, and they really do mean nothing. But all it all that matters is keep on winning. One game playoff. That's a mode that the Vikings have been in, frankly, since the 0 3 start. And that that's perfectly fine. And it is a beautiful next man up mentality. Take care of your business this week against the Broncos. Take care of it against the Bears. Uh, you still have four division games left, which are important, uh, as well as you still have four games left against your conference, the NFC and, and the Vikings. Um, I, I got faith. I got faith, man. Uh, uh, call me naive. Call me sipping the purple drink, wh- whatever. But the Vikings six and two in conference is g- certainly going to help with those tiebreakers. I think the Vikings will, will give the Lions the business, uh, and then we'll go from there, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Take a look at the Vikings playoff chances. Uh, let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.